Hey y'all, this is Danielle from Nouvelle ELA, and today I wanted to show you how to convert any paper escape room game or a game you purchased from TPT to be able to use it with physical locks, even if it wasn't originally designed to be used that way. I don't design my games to use physical locks because not every teacher has them. Um, this option for using Google Forms as an intermediary will also help you because you don't have to buy any sort of specific locks. You can just find ones that you already have or borrow some from another teacher and use them that way. So here we go. Let's start with this. So this is from my Lord of the Flies escape room. And in this task, based on characters, the answer is going to be the word survival. So how do I turn the word survival into a combination? Um, there are very few locks out there that have the letters of the word survival in it, and I don't want to go shopping for them. So what do I do? Well, the answer is to create a quick and easy Google form. So escape room validation. We're going to add a question. It's going to be short answer. And the important thing is to turn on response validation. So Task number one, text contains survival. I always tell my students to type answers in all caps. Okay, so they type their answer here, survival. If they don't type survival, they're going to get try again. And then I'm going to add, sorry. I want to add a section. So after section one, if they get the correct answer, they continue to the next section. Great job. Now I'm going to type here the combination for the first lock. So let's say my combination is just a regular lock and the numbers are 30, five, and 14. So. You are correct. The combination for box number one is da 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 da. And then once they unlock box number one, they can get the materials for question number two or however you want to arrange it in your room. But basically what you've done now is you've taken the code word that I gave you for my escape room, which is survival, and once students confirm that and get it correct, they receive this combination. You can continue to create questions and combinations of your choice um, until you have a completed Google form. I also have this available for download for you, which is just kind of ready to go. Um, I use this with my poetry escape room, but you just edit it to be whatever you want, right? So. There you go. Hope this helped. Have a great day.